precisely one hour because uh, it's been a hell of a week and after this I'm gonna go spend some well-deserved time with my lady. Um, <laughs> I did not notice until the moment that I started streaming that uh, apparently one of my earrings fell out at some point. This is I think I'm going to use the, a good chunk of this uh, streaming session uh, to bitch about my week. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. I haven't taken a shower in two days, which is disgusting. And now the baby's asleep, so I, I can't take a shower, so I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow morning. Oh, it's been one of those weeks. It's, it's dire. There's the word I was looking for. Okay, anyway, let me uh, get the streaming link into the Discord. Yudi doot, copying a thing. Excuse me for one second. At everyone. Streaming now. That is not the content that I thought was in my clipboard. What do you know about that? Also, why does this say, see, what is even going on? Oh boy. If you think, wait, what? Why is this taking me to like my analytics page? Copy the link to this, put it inside of here. Paste it with Control V. There we go. Cool. Okay. We're here. So, yes. Let me check to see if my cameras are all set up properly. So, I guess let's start here. Two two main thoughts. One, um, I really should do something about this 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 keyboard that was so wonderfully sweetly given to me. Poor Joe. Poor Joe. Uh, at VCF. Still, no idea who, but some very kind individual. Um, ideally, we should pop this open and see if it's just a fuse, because that would be really, really dope. Um, could be a quick thing to do. Here's the deal. Uh, it's not obvious how you open this thing, and I am kind of terrified of breaking it. Um, it looks like maybe you can't really see in there, but there might be some clips in here that we can clear. Hey, Dirt Piper! Um, so let me wiggle with those really quick and we'll see. Uh, but this one, I'll, I'll drop it pretty quick if, uh, if we're not getting anywhere with it. But yeah, no screws. No screws on this thing. I have, you'd think that might be under here? No. No screws. Hey, okay. Sweet. All right, I think this is going to do it. This makes me quite happy. There we go. All right, hopefully that's not waking up the entire house. All right. That first one got it quite a bit open. Oh, boy. And this is what I was worried about, is I'm probably breaking clips, too, which is not great. But, you know, this keyboard doesn't work in the first place, so. Better to have a working keyboard with some broken clips than a keyboard that does not work at all. Don't you think? There we go. Yeah, every, every single clip is broken now. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, but we're in. Sweet. Okay. It's also very dirty. I need to give this thing a, a clean desperately. But that is not, that is not for today. Um, okay, so you got this big old, big old black keyboard, like, support. Um, try and look for obvious ways that comes off. I do not know. I don't see any obvious, like, clips or anything. Uh, but I can... This is the this is the brain board up here. 
And I'm scanning for any, like... I, I hear there is supposed to be a fuse. Oh, wow, that's not held in by anything. Sweet. All right, so I don't even have to get the uh, keyboard matrix out. I thought I might have to get that out first, but no. Lovely. Let's try not to break these flat flexes. You think those will ever get go back in? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, ha, ha, ha. So there might, oh wait, okay, so looks like we have some capacitor goo on here too, so that, that probably doesn't help, but uh, I am not sure, sorry, I realize I'm mostly kind of holding this off camera. Yeah, Dave said, I, I only thought there might be a fuse, that is fair. Um, it also might just be straight up fried, which would be fun and cool. Um, well, let's see, we've got a... What is that? Is that a 8051? Yeah. Cool. So it looks like we've got an 8051 and some kind of Atmel part. I don't know if that is a microcontroller. I would assume that might be a... Oh no, it goes... It goes straight to here. So it would be weird to me for it to have two microcontrollers on here. So maybe this is some kind of I.O. expander deal. Um, but it looks a bit crusty in here, so possibly this could just be cleaned up with a good clean. This might be a fun one to uh, try and take the logic analyzer to, too. But no no obvious fuse or anything, so nothing nothing quite so simple. At least not at first blush. So, But that's still something I uh, did want to get that open and see if there was anything obvious. And if not, at least now I have it open for better or for worse. So I can work on that later, finally. That's a thing that needed to happen for a while. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Didn't really expect that to go anywhere, but figured it's VMS or uh, VAX related, so might as well pop it open. There you go. Um, oh, <laughs> Dirt Piper says, yet again, reminding of, this, of the one that he didn't get at VCF. Sorry. Okay, so that's that's that fun thing. Um, the bulk of what I was going to play with here, and again, let's see, we're seven minutes in, and I was going to do one hour, uh, was I was going to drink Diet Coke for the next uh, 53 minutes on stream. No, that's not true, but I am going to drink a Diet Coke. Um, let me see if my cameras are set up properly, because I got another camera here that should hopefully be facing backwards, maybe? I don't know if it's actually hooked up to anything. Nope. I don't have a single scene with that set up. Super cool. Um, I guess I'll just make a whole new scene. One moment. Uh, let's call this scene Vex. And I am going to... There it is. Add video capture device. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I guess new? Sorry, I know you're just seeing nothing right now. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, there we go. No, wrong. There we go. It was right the first time. Okay, so we have a nice, a nice camera looking out at uh, behind me. But, but, this is not the the purpose. The main purpose of this camera, the main purpose of this camera is to make you sick. The main purpose of this camera is I have my microvax here. And I have a uh, Hooja, what's it? A hub that has both 10 base T and uh, I can't remember what um, the name for ThinNet is, but ThinNet. <laughs> All hail Big Endian. It says 88T. Okay, let me get my uh, face camera up there. Uh, this isn't plugged in or anything, so part of this is going to be setting it up. Oh, and here was a here was another thing. Um, we have this still, right? Uh, this is Dave's uh, green scuzzy, and wasn't wasn't working on the Mac because I don't I didn't have a Terminator for my uh, crusty crusty cable set up there. However, 
Um, oh, and I didn't mention the info server at all. That's yeah. We'll we'll get back there. Uh, well, I should have because this I'm gonna try putting this in the info server. So let me just throw this back here. The info server, which should have you know proper termination and everything, should be good to go. Hopefully. Uh, let's see. It's gonna be weird because I did not put this on a hotkey. Let me steal my my own face from this scene. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Copy, 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 copy. And paste. There we go. Hello again. I am still here. I have not abandoned you. Actually, I don't know how much sense this is going to make because I'm going to be turned around. But um, <clears throat> yes. So. This thing on the top that I didn't really mention, so I've got my Microvax 3800, and I've got my info server. Uh, I took them both to VCF Midwest the year before this last one, and uh, I was trying to get the info server working. I brought it because I, I thought it would be, like, ready to go. It was working last I used it. But the whole reason that I have this info server and what it is, is Dave's right. This is basically uh, a vac station, um, you know, a vac station pizza box, except it has, uh, I, I think the hardware isn't even really different. I think it's mostly just the boot ROMs uh, are different. And so it has kind of like an embedded, uh, it's, it's half and half embedded and half and half runs off the disk uh, kind of um, operating system that's very specific to it. And what that operating system does is it provides uh, disk disk services. Yes, there you go. Disk services um, over your your deck network. So the biggest thing is uh, one of the cool things about about uh, Vax machines um, and uh, generally like VMS boxes is this can. Uh, it's it's smart enough to have it has its own net boot kind of situation going on, which isn't that crazy, but that system can actually basically mount the drives that this thing publishes like at boot time. So it doesn't need like it has its own whole stack that replaces you know like uh, uh, network booting with uh, your PXE and then um, the uh, TFTP and whatnot. This has this whole thing, where basically it just mounts the disk, and as far as VMS knows, it's just a disk. It has no... It doesn't really care that it's on the network. Um, it's just on there. And I believe also, the way that this publishes disks, um, like, they're available, like, not even just, like, like as a, sh as a vague share. They show up as, like, disks. Like, you, like individually addressable sectors disks. <laughs> it's a crazy thing. Yeah, and Dave says uh, MOP. MOP is their whole system for, that's basically kind of the PXE plus the TFTP. But the TFT, their MOP is aware of this whole VMS virtual network disk thing. So it just kind of, from end to end, just is a virtual network disk, transparently. It's neat. Thing is, this uh, this Vax doesn't have. I mean, this is. I'll show you. This is the entirety of its uh, of its I/O. Is this tape drive? I mean, you know, of its uh, like removable storage for booting off of. And they do. You know, back in the day, they made install sets and whatnot that, uh, you know, went off of tape. Uh, you would get your tape install sets, and that would be fine for this if you were installing VMS or upgrading VMS this way. But those install sets have gotten pretty hard to find. Um, and yeah, they're like trying to, as far as I can see, there's not really people out there making like replica, <laughs> replica boot tapes. Um, like you can find boot tapes on uh, eBay sometimes, but they're really inflated. And it's just kind of silly to go that way. Like if you really wanted to, it could be fun uh, maybe to find a VMS boot tape sometime, but. I don't have the, the patience for that or the uh, the pockets right now, so that is why I ended up just getting this info server because the info server has a freaking CD drive on it, CD drive, and I can just pop a burned VMS CD in it and boot this off of this CD drive. 
Um, now here's the thing is, like I said, I thought this was working. There's a few steps. It's not just a straight up appliance where everything runs off the ROM and it's good to go when you start it up. Uh, there is a SCSI drive in here. It needs to be properly set up. There's a, like a setup CD that lets you format the disk, set it up properly for the info server. And it also like, again, like it puts some of the, uh, the actual server software that helps run this thing on the hard drive. Um, so that's important. And as far as I can tell, the hard drive might be dead in this. Um, I had put a fresh one in when I first got this and it was working okay, but uh, at VCF we could not get it working. And I think it's possible because the, the drive is just straight up bad. Um, but yeah, maybe let's start by, um, firstly, uh, I can, let me um, get my serial stuff all set up so that we can uh, serial shell into the info server and I'll boot it and I'll show you what it looks like right now. Um, and then I think I have my info server install disk around, so we might try, like this should this should be vaguely set up right now to have a disk on it um, at like SCSI ID 7 or whatever we set that up for. Um, so possibly we could see, maybe just plug that in, run the info server setup stuff on here, and we might be good to go. Um, and then the uh, the thing that I really want to run off here, because there is there is a good VMS install on here. This thing is fine. I don't need to install VMS. But the best thing is the, the overlays and stuff, because um, you can find all the VMS software overlays. And, like, of course, the base system is installed on here. But all the cool stuff, like, you know, compilers and... Uh, stuff for the windowing system and all kinds of stuff um, is distributed on basically overlay CDs that uh, I can also mount over the network on this drive. So um, let me go find my uh, my serial adapter stuff for uh, Dex RJ uh, MMJ stuff, uh, and we'll try and get logged into this thing. you um cool i actually already have a serial dongle plugged in that is convenient right over here that's already plugged in and if i have the right thing set up the right way i should just be able to take this guy and plug it into that and plug the uh mmj end over into yon info server and boot it up and watch it not work which is expected. And again, I only have an hour here, so we'll we'll see how far I get. Oh, and yes, so here's the whole thing, like I was saying. I have thin net. I have thin net for this whole freaking setup, and uh, there's already one one going into here, coming out here, it's going to info server, it's coming out there and going into that uh, hub that I was showing a minute ago. So uh, the other fun thing is once I can get these booted up, um, I would like to connect these via thin net to my uh, you know regular Ethernet based retro network, which eh, pro probably won't have time for that tonight, but still. Um, I think port one is the console port, hopefully. We're gonna find out. All right, let's see. Let me get my desktop up on here as well. Oh goodness, excuse me. Had uh, my wife made us delicious, delicious Bulgogi stuff tonight. Korean food, delicious. Now I've got the burps. As I do half the time. Alright, display capture, add existing. That one. Okay. And that makes me notice my Discord where somebody dropped in this sweet picture of uh, Axe 11 assembly programming. Uh, book. Which I, I have some cool stuff. I don't know if I've ever shown my books. I have a couple of Axe books that I really need to start 
reading at some point because they're neat. Um, oh. Thought I had, thought I had another one, but I apparently do not. But um, let's see. So there's the there's the Vax VMS uh, like user third party user guide thing that I was going through uh, when I made the video about this thing. Actually, a a, a pretty cool book, very useful, um, great for learning DCL. Vax structured assembly language programming. I've uh, read a little bit into this, but of course, like this kind of book. It's teaching you how to write assembly language, so it's not <laughs> particularly useful until I like had specific questions if I was going to start writing assembly in here. And then the one that that is really cool uh, that I would love to get into, but you know it's huge, and you know it's uh, <laughs> like a thousand-page technical book. Yeah, it's about a thousand pages. Um, thousand-page novel, not so crazy. Thousand-page technical manual, freaking dense as hell. Uh, so. Maybe someday I'll read that. Probably not. But those are my those are my fun VMS books. It's just the uh, the Vax assembly language and architecture and uh, assembly language programming ones reminded me. Um, let's get TerraTerm up, I guess, and see if I can blow things up big enough that uh, it is readable on that little thing right there. Oh, serial. Oh, the prolific serial thing that I kept seeing uh, the last time we were trying to do serial stuff on here is the frickin' dongle. I didn't realize it was plugged in. Well, that makes sense. And then, let's see, set up. Where is serial port? Nope, that's keyboard. Set up, serial port, 9600. Okay, that should be good to go then. And let me see if I can up the font size. Mm hmm Hannah. Font. That's probably a good way to go. Terminal, yes. 14. Will 14 be readable? How big can I go? Apparently that's as big as that one goes. Lucida Console? Lucida Console 26? Lucida Console 28? 36? I don't know. Let's see. Let's power this thing on. And uh, well, I guess let me plug it in first. That would be important. Oh, uh, time check. Twenty-three minutes. Okay, good to know. Choose the right port. Yeah, sweet. Oh, we can go smaller than that. That's uh, that is overkill. Yeah, that's readable. Um, okay, I do not remember anything about this, so we're gonna have to look up documentation again. But we're in. We're in. Uh, how do I clear this window? You'd think reset window would uh, clear things. Apparently not. Clear screen. There we go. Uh, all right. So I'm going to have to re-remember how to do this, but it boots. This is an info server. We're in. We got it. We got it on screen. Everything's cool. So let me let me kill it and put this thing in here and stick the CD in and see if I can get it to do anything. And let's move these books because <laughs> they are in my way. Power off. Um, yes. And before I rip this open and put the uh, green scuzzy in there, let me catch up with chat because I have just been babbling. 
Ten base two, said Dave. That is that is what then that is called. Thank you. Um, uh, Jubsy said, skip buying a super cheap AEK-1 at, at VCF Midwest. Oh, but you got one this year? Yeah. I, I love the AEKs, man. Uh, the AEK-2, I, I was never a keyboard person, but uh, when I got a, an AEK-2, it just felt so good that I built a keyboard adapter to use it as my daily driver because those keys just feel great. I used to just use like whatever rubber dome was around until then. But that, that did it for me, and now I'm a big fan of linear keys. I have a... My, my daily driver now is a GMK, uh, which I, I hate their brand name, but it's a nice it's a nice keyboard, especially for the price. Um, do recommend. But it's a 10 keyless. I like 10 keyless. I need my F keys. I need my arrow cluster. Um, and it is Browns. Le really like that keyboard kind of bought it because it was the only thing they had at Micro Center when I was setting up my uh, new work setup. And it just ended up being really, really great. Um, anyway, that's not what we were talking about. Uh, Dave says, in theory, it should work on the info server since it's a bog standard SCSI controller. Okay, fingers crossed then. Um, yeah, Funky funky smell of the IPL ROM, he said, before he was talking about my boop. Trey said, let's see if this works. Uh, yeah. I think we we probably just get as far as like maybe seeing if we can finally get the info server to uh, boot the, the setup CD. Like clearly we don't have time for more than that right now. Just to make sure we set our expectations. Uh, Dave says Mot boot does the PXE TFTP type stuff, and the disks are shared as block as block devices uh, with clustered stuff from their logical disk service. Yeah, yeah. It says need to send you some RF seven X drives. Uh, those are the the official DEX SCSI hard drives, right? Um, install from TK70 tapes sucks, I would imagine. Uh, Derek says, fun of netbooting. Uh, tried netbooting everything I came across in college since it was a good way to get it working and get a local OS installed. Um, I, I've always had trouble with network booting, period. Unix network booting sucks, man. Um, it's just such a freaking pain um, to set up. And you have to get like three different services set up that don't really know about the existence of each other beyond that you have configured them properly. I hate it, uh, but I did. Because I, I think when I was trying to install iRic, when I first got my Octane, it didn't have anything on it. I had to install a hard drive because, of course, they come no hard drive usually. And um, it didn't have, because it's, it's an Octane, so it, didn't, it doesn't have an internal CD drive. Um, and I remember, I think I spent like two freaking weeks trying to netboot the stupid thing and I could not get it to work. Couldn't do it. And I finally just ended up buying a, an outboard SCSI CD drive and booting it that way because I couldn't, I never got it to work. Hours. Uh, uh, Dave says the drive should still be set up from last year. I don't think we got it set up last year. Uh... Trey says netbooting's great. Set up many jump starter servers, jump start servers for Solaris. Uh, Dave said no about something, and I don't know what it is. Um, worst case, I think I still have SimH set up as two info servers, and I tried doing a, a SimH info server, and I also couldn't get that working for some reason. Like way back when I first got this vax, that's why I got the physical info server, which worked a treat. It like it really once I had that, it I had to keep messing around with the uh, CD drive. Um, because the, the cartridge drive that it came with is a neat old drive, but it does not read burned CDs. It's very picky. And uh, so I ended up I ended up having to get another SCSI CD drive off of eBay uh, to put in this thing to finally get something that would read burned CDs. Which is a common thing. Um, but yeah, could ne never was able to get SimH running as an info server. Um, someday I need to figure out the nudge nudge wink wink workarounds for VMS license packs. Uh, now that the hobbyist program is, yes, in dire, dire straits. Talk to Dave. Dave knows some shit. Uh, yeah, he's talking about package gen in there. And that was, that was Derek Koningsberg talking about that. Uh, oh, Yar. Yar is actually a thing. I thought you were just saying Yar. Apparently Yar is a wrapper to reissue all of your hobbyist licenses using package gen, which is totally legit. Um, <laughs> Derek says... Uh, closest I've come to MMJ cables is RJ11 connectors with the tab snapped off. The the best of both worlds is having 
MMJs with the tab snap off. Um, Trey says the deck help pages are fantastic. They really are. <laughs> Dave says 24 point would have been fine. We weren't blind. Uh, show dev. Yes, that is what we shall do. And uh, 10 base 5 is thick net. Thank you, Trey. Um, RFXX, our deck storage system. Is that is that... So that's DSSI. Yes, that is what deck storage system interface stands for. So I've got... So then I... I think that's... So the drives I have in here are RFXX drives then. And I just need more. Because the other thing that we never figured out is why the heck only one of my drives is usable at a time. Dave really worked on that and and couldn't really like got some stuff happening but yeah i can only there are two there are two fat rfxx i guess drives in here and both work but i can only have one running at a time they won't both run it's weird uh even with like you know we they have addressing and stuff and having separate addresses no nothing couldn't figure it out um hello to Hollyon. good to see you uh <laughs> YouTube finally deigned to put your stream in the sidebar, though not until 29 minutes in. That's, yeah, sorry. Uh, and in installed Big Sur on my desktop and it keeps crashing. Okay, there is the traditional catch up with chat. Now let us pop this thing open, get this installed, this, this, get this, get that installed, and uh, while I am finding a screwdriver to open this thing, I will also, I, I know I just saw my uh, info server CD somewhere. It exists. Literally, literally at the top of my stack of, uh, of random CDs. How good is that? I knew I had seen it recently. Stuff never works out like that for me. Um, right. Screwdriver. There wasn't a screwdriver. Do I need... Yes, I do. Do I? Yes, I do. Uh, right here. Bam. Um, let me move this window. For a moment. <clears throat> No, they were on screen. I'm not crazy. There we go. Okay, there is the inside of an info server slash uh, deck station. <clears throat> so, yes, we should all be properly terminated. There's a terminator in here, and it is going drive, drive, well, no, actually, it's going dupe, controller, drive, drive, terminator. So we should be set. Um, what is the drive ID on here, though? Well, we'll just see what show dev shows us. But yeah, um, this drive might be fine. I don't really, I can't really be sure. But why not try this cool new thing? Something to keep it from shorting and ruining my day. Let's use a duck hunt. There we go. All right, I think we are set to boot. server disk. You bitty doop. Um, that's how you put things in a CD drive, right? I'm just gonna keep scooting this stuff because I keep running out of space. Whatever, you get the idea. Alright, we got blinkies. 
That seems good. <laughs> Dave says he loves the Super Mario Duck Hunt cart. Damn straight. Okie dokie. Oklahoma. <laughs> Dirt Piper says, I think he's talking about the CD stacks. Everyone has one or two, or about 15. I keep finding stacks I didn't even know I had. Show Dev. I guess let's do that. Show Dev. Seems to be the consensus. <laughs> oh, Trey said, Show Dan says, type Show Dev. Yes, it took me a second to understand this reference. Shodan, yes. That's that video game that I keep meaning to play. Okay. So I think this is the CD. Is it going to detect the green scuzzy? It sure is thinking. Oh, Dave says, I forgot they exported the internal SCSI bus in addition to the bus that's normally external only. Yeah, it's funky. Um, Halion says, uh, what mean underscores in the post? Um... I don't 100% know. Each one of those numbers is a is a test being done, but I'm not. Maybe maybe Dave can tell us if Dave knows. He knows some more things than me, but I don't know if he does. Uh, he says, did I solder the term power jumper on the back or power via USB? Powering the Teensy from the protection diodes on the I.O. pins might not be a good idea. Um, okay, I can, I can get a USB power if that helps. Because I, I did solder that, but... We can we can undo these things. <clears throat> then I just have to think about how I'm going to get USB over here. I have a USB cobble that will work here. I need like a brick or something. Dave says, one or the other, not both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, no. I am, I am d silly and blonde, but I'm not that stupid. And there we go. Done. Solved. As easy as that. He said, throwing lead into his beer. Yeah. Clean. Okay. Now, that back in. This for power. And then, you can't see what I'm doing. Haha. -ha. And then this goes somewhere. Um, hmm, hmm. <laughs> I've got things plugged into extension cables that are being super used. Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, face camera is going. Hey, okay, cool. That gives me an extension. Because it's on the extension that I used to run it across the other side of the room. But I'm not doing that right now. So, there we go. Here we are. Where is my hand? There it is. Here we go. Looking for blinks. I'm 
not appearing to even get uh, post stuff out of here. Curious. <laughs> Alian said, Shodan probably wouldn't let you take a look at her innards so easily. <sighs> Dirt Piper says, Beep! Jake says, That poor CD. Oh, uh, Trey says, the letters are post-steps, the manual says what they mean. Gotcha. Oh, well, yeah, the letters are post up, but the question is, uh, what do the, what do the underscores mean? And I don't have an answer for that next to the, the numbers. Might be things totally breaking. Could be what they are. Um, silly mistakes are not covered in the green scuzzy warranty, says Dave. Next board design will definitely have proper power options. Again, you gotta stop apologizing for yourself, Dave. This is a cool product. Um, and then lots of talk about Shodan that I'm not going to get involved with because I still have played about five total minutes of System Shock. Um, anyway, that doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere. Let's make sure. It works when I just totally unplug it. Because if not, then it might just mean that we need to, like, reset the terminal and stuff. In fact, I'm going to do that. <clears throat> oh. It may have been running this whole time. Yes, it was. Okay. Weird, but I'll take it. Pollyon said, I know question marks in the post are usually not good. Let's just don't worry about it. Uh, okay, let's try that show dev again. See if this thing shows up this time. Hope that I don't just have a device conflict. Alian says, yeah, imagine errors having object permanence. I don't have object permanence. I assume everyone is new people every time I see them in chat. Uh, Dave says, typically complaints about clock, missing terminators, that kind of thing. Um, well, this is still sitting there. And I'm not seeing any activity on the thing. But, like, I, it can't be a conflict, because if it was a conflict, I wouldn't see the, I wouldn't see this entry, I would imagine. Uh, Dave says, seven and six are the SCSI buses. I think the last four are serial ports. Okay, so, yeah, seven could be it not loving that thing. Let's pop it off and see if that goes away and if a show device works this time, now that I know I have to reset the whole terminal. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Dave, I'm so dumb. Uh, he says ESA0 is the is the Ethernet device. Yeah, that would make sense, because that's a MAC address I'm looking at, isn't it? Oh, this guy. That's okay. I said, it's been a long. We have, we have release coming up, and shit is all broken, and I'm not thrilled with it. And it's, it's broken from multiple sides, and it's broken from multiple teams, and yet we have to release. We have to. Um, it is not an option, because if we don't, then things will break in another way due to changes that InfoSec is doing. I don't know how much of this I can talk about on my, you know, NDA, but it's uh, not good. 
Okay, so actually, let me try this again really quick. Let me do a show dev without this to see these. I think I set I think I set the device on there to seven, so it's potential that like this might be seven, or you know I don't know. But let's let's just see if it can at least pick up the CD drive, and if this reduces errors and improves our show device experience. Okay, no question mark on seven now. That seems good. All right. Um, so, show dev. Here we go. Here we go. Trey says, continuous deployment. Embrace it. Okay, yeah. So it's either that that device being on the bus at all is a problem or it's a conflict. So, I don't know. Let me just move a jumper on the CD drive. <clears throat> Okie doke. Let's see if it was that. Excuse me. <laughs> I've never heard that one before, but that seems like exactly the kind of thing that the, the old jobbies... Uh, at my previous place of employment, which is vehicle stuff, where you've got a lot of a lot of interesting boomers who have been doing the job for a bajillion years, that seems like the kind of thing they would say. Sorry, uh, Dirt Piper says NDA stands for not that important, <laughs> not not that important. Oh, I love it. Uh, Trey says, isn't CD ID two and host six? Maybe. Could be. But it's it's clearly not the, the ID, because I've changed the ID now. Uh, and it, the SCSI bus is still, clearly, 7 has the question mark back, which is clearly correlates to SCSI issues. So, haha. <laughs> um, Dave, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it none. Uh, so... Well, let's let's go back to seeing if this hard drive works. But then we're we're back to uh, screwing with the problems we were having at VCF, which we never figured out. Yeah, yeah. So that's always fun. I might. You know what? Really quick, while I'm doing this, <clears throat> let's do two things. One, let's confirm what the SCSI device on this was. Let us open another Terra term. I shan't show you. It's going to be... Oh, wait, no. I'm sharing my whole desktop, so I can show you. Um, mm -hmm. Terra term. And, uh, yeah, just confirm exactly what the SCSI uh, device is here. Just so that we know. Um, what was that? Was that in VDEV? Or targets? Targets? Or VDEV? Uh, LUN0. Oh, that in and of itself might be a problem, right? The LUN, the LUN is the SCSI device, the unit number, right? Is that is that correct? <laughs> uh, Dave says that looks okay, but yeah, is that because I I feel like I can't I feel like I would feel weird using device zero on here. Target is the SCSI device. LUN is the logical unit. Okay. I see. I see. Um. 
that. Okay. So it's set to three for the record. I am going to restore bus power for fun. Also, let me look at the back of this because I might have just set the CD drive to three as well, which would be neat. Um, no, I think I set it to, it's hard to tell. I think it is four right now. Okay. Yeah. I think. <clears throat> uh, I'm just, for no good reason, I'm switching it back to uh, bus power because I got I got blinky lights on here when I was doing that. Did not get them when I was powering it via USB. And I flung off that little piece of metal that I was using to bridge the contacts. Super cool. We'll just have to find more weird bits of metal. Where would I ever find weird bits of metal around here? I found a weird bit of metal, just, just in case anybody was wondering. But I'm not going to show you, because I'm withholding. Good enough. Let's try it again, in case maybe we had a conflict before, because I don't remember what the ID on there was before. Maybe it was a conflict before, and then it was bus power, or a USB power not being okay, and then, yeah, I don't know. Trey said CD drive was on too. Oh, because did it, right, it showed when we were, yeah. Well, then, I guess uh, it's just some bullshit. I, I have no idea what I mean by that. <clears throat> My brain squished. Hey, look at that question mark. Girl, look at that question mark. Okay. Sorry, Dave. We'll get this working someday. Today is not that day. Um, all right. Next step is let's see. We're at fifty-two minutes, so I guess let's let's see what we get out of this hard drive. And get the hell out of here, I guess. <clears throat> Come on now. Okay, reset, clear. My my kingdom for Minicom. I'm sorry, Windows terminal terminal emulators suck ass. Unless you count Kermit, I guess you can run Kermit on Windows. Kermit is fine. It says he done run off. Uh, quick question: Were you do you, are you also a listener of uh, their just movies, or as it was previously known, Carpool Critics, which I think was a way better name? Because uh, I, I am a I am personally a big fan of uh, uh, the brothers the brothers Lebowski. Oh, I can't I think of their names. Anyway, those guys. The 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 brothers um the the brothers raising Arizona. Um the brothers burn after reading. Yeah, uh sorry. So I was asking because uh they they did a, a review of O Brother Where Art Thou a couple weeks back. Which made me want to watch O Brother Where Art Thou again. That was a very long winded way of getting there. Uh E.E. E. Hawk said, Hey Dave, was Target CLI the inspiration for Green Scudsy's interface? And he says yes. And now I'm going to have to look into this because I, I could tell that there was something underlying this. And it seems cool. 
Uh, anyway. Leon says, also BRB rebooting and longer streams are better. Yeah, I think. I'm going to, for my own sanity, maybe I should mention that right now. I know pretty much all of you are in the Discord. But before I, well, I'll do a show dev right now. It seems to be fine with that hard drive. Uh, yes, new plan for my own sanity. I am going to switch to doing longer streams on the weekend, not streaming on during the week because it's insane. My days have been wake up, wait, wake up, feed the baby, pass the baby off to grandpa, uh, go to work, hopefully, pr hopefully be able to shower somewhere in there, but probably not because, uh, you know, it's 10 o'clock and I have to get to stand up. Uh, and I just managed to hand the baby over and then work and then get out at five, start streaming, which I enjoy start, you know, stream for an hour and a half dinner. Then I have client work, uh, for my freelancing and then shoot myself. And that's on a good day when everything lines up. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to, I just, I, I had such a freaking rough week this week. Um, and I, I kind of lost it today a little bit. So, I, I gotta chill. But I, I I know you're all cool with that. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it, that is the plan. Uh -huh. Terpiper says, Use that for the entire IRX install for my Octane. What a horrendous experience. Not <laughs> the terminal, the IRX install. It just sucks so bad. Yeah, the IRX installer is definitely an installer from a... a, a more civilized age. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yes, as Trey said, now that I'm done waffling on. Discs. So, theoretically, the thing is... Um, I also like that. Why? Why, why? Oh, pfft. It's because my font's so big, the buffer is rolling off the bottom of the page. Um, okay. This is a terrible experience. So we got discs. Um, yes, now the question is how do I boot that installer disk? Can I boot that installer disk? Uh, can I just be, what was the device? Um, I think this DKA 400 is the CD. Would you guys agree? Would you guys agree? Trey says, I'll say it again, you can use mini common windows with WSL. Yeah, I didn't read that. I mean, I did read it. I didn't read it out loud. I did see that. Um, and that's probably what I would prefer if I had the time. Uh, BDKA400. Cool. That was what I thought. Hey, we have blinky light that you can't see because this is turned the wrong way. Let's see if that works. Because I can't remember if we could... Okay, yes. So I can't remember if we were able to get the CD booting at the show. Because I vaguely remember it doing this. And then never really getting anywhere. So I wonder if the CD drive is okay. That might actually be what the issue is. That would be super cool. Um... Oh, maybe maybe we follow up with this next week, seeing as I, I'm pretty much going to have to go in a second here. Um, Dave, try try the Greens Cuzzy with, uh, with, uh, do you, you, you have a deck station of some sort, right? I mean, I know you have a bunch of Vax stuff. Try the Greens Cuzzy with decks. I would, I, I would love to use the Greens Cuzzy in here. I'm uh, surprised and disappointed that it is taking a shit. Uh, uh, uh. Dave says, I can't remember if it wants stupid slash R flags. I don't remember it wanting them from the first time I set it up. Because that's the whole thing is I remember it being so ludicrously painless. Um, so. Also, mind you, Dave, it might be because I was never able to properly set up that card. So I may need to still do that. Um, yeah, this is spinning and spinning. This is exactly what I was doing at the show. Um, one second. Uh, and I will be right back. And then I'm going to try Dave's recommendations to set the boot flags. Uh, but I think this is I think this is what it was doing at the show when we couldn't get it to do anything else. 
So I don't know if I finished that thought, but um, maybe next week if I poke at this some more, uh, do the, uh, oh my god, it's escaping me and I need to go, my wife is trying to ask me something. Um, oh, uh, steal, steal the CD drive out of my Octane. See if that's any better. Not Octane, O2. Okay. Yep, that is the significant other saying, you promised me affection. So, let's try these boot flags. Set B F F F L G D O O O O O O O B. Oh, you actually made me remember Dark Piper. I can't do that because he he says preparing for shattered plastics in the process of the CD driver retrieval, the O2 curse. No, that's right. That's why I didn't just use the O2 drive with this in the first place. The O2 drive is fucked. The the gears broke. I forgot about that. Damn it. I, I think that's the... I might try the SCSI CD drive that I... My external Apple one, but I... I feel like I have, and they don't really work uh, with this machine. It's, it's kind of picky. Uh, anyway, we're... What was that? Was it D400... DKA 400? Am I crazy? No, I'm not. Hey! Okay. Uh, that's a bummer, because I have to get out of here. Uh, but, yeah. Cool. So that did a thing. Fun. And it's verifying the disk. Enter password. Great. Okay, so this disk is set up then. Uh, oh god. Oh boy. <laughs> so I guess it doesn't matter either way because I clearly need to... Oh, ESS is the password? Well, damn, Dave. Uh, okay. Well, there we go. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Tridipsy says, attention span of a gnat. Yup. Welcome to me. Um, anyway, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get out of here, but we've gotten this far. Cool. Show dev. I have to go. I have loved ones. Um, there you go. I gotta drop. I uh, I hope that people enjoyed watching me open this machine and, and hook up a serial terminal. Sorry, Patrick Burke. <laughs> that's that's on you. You gotta get in that Discord so you can know when I'm popping on. I usually let people know about it at least a half hour before I'm thinking. Um, unknown is bad. Oh yes, that is bad. Um, so. Probably will need to reformat that and reset the whole thing, but yeah. Anyway, uh, good night, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I don't know what my plans are for this weekend, but I will. I'll, I'll again. If you're on the Discord, I'll try and keep you updated, and I'll try and do a a bigger stream, figuring out what I'm doing with the NES. <laughs> uh, do like a two-hour stream at some point this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. But um, thank you for attending. I will see you. Later. See ya. Love ya.